Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hello and welcome to Really Random Rants, the show we do just that. I'm Tim and this is... William Salyers! So he is probably best known for voicing Rigby in regular show. So my first question for you is, how did you get started on that? Uh, it was just a straight up audition. My, uh, my agent sent me the copy and uh, it was from... Um, see, that copy was from the pilot episode and I had the lines, two ties... You don't know what I'm going to throw next, baby. And it turned out that that was from, uh, those lines were from a game of rock, paper, scissors. But nothing in my script said that, so I didn't know what that meant. I'm like, railroad ties, neckties, I have no idea. But I could tell it was kind of angsty, you know, so I went with, two ties, you don't know what I'm going to throw next, baby. And that was apparently the right choice. So, what was probably your favorite moment uh, working on the show? Your favorite memory? Oh gosh, in six years, that's tough. Uh, you know, it might be when I met Mark Hamill, who plays Skips, because, uh, you know, I, I grew up admiring Mark, and if he had turned out to be a jerk, it would have really killed me. And he's not, he's like the nicest guy in the world, so that was a big deal. But there were so, there were so many funny times and fun times recording the show that I, I wouldn't be able to pick out one. And it was, it was always, every time I read a new script, I would always laugh out loud at least once. Now, is, well, was Regular Show a show where all the voice actors recorded together, or was it all separate? It's a great question. We tried to record together as much as possible, so we couldn't always do that. And, of course, uh, sometimes the guest stars would be busy doing other things, and they'd have to either record by themselves or from elsewhere. But we recorded together as much as we could. Okay. So, um, you recently voiced Dr. Hugo Strange. What was it like doing that? It was kind of a dream come true. I mean, you know, I, I grew up digging Batman, and uh, I was I was surprised to be asked to read for Hugo Strange because it was a, a character that I wasn't that familiar with, but in the, in, I could tell in the script that he was kind of a creepy, interesting dude. I mean, the nice thing about it being an Elseworlds show is that I didn't have to play it like anybody else's Hugo Strange, you know? And so, uh, uh, and I knew that he was an alienist, uh, which, which back in the day meant psychologist. So uh, I just, uh, I picked a nice Austrian uh, accent and made him uh, a little aloof and very, very smart. So uh, you also recently voiced uh, Penguin in two animated Batman movies that were set in the Adam West universe. When you came to that role, did they tell you to do it like how uh, the guy who played him did it in the show? And how was that, trying to recreate his voice? Um, well, the, the original Penguin, of course, on TV was Burgess Merritt, who was a tremendous actor. And uh, uh, it was a huge honor to be asked to, to do that. And we were specifically told to evoke the character without imitating completely because the estates of some of those actors still own the property. And so we, we were told not to do direct imitation, but to sort of remind people. So that's, you know... Um, that's all right. So I, obviously, I went with the, the penguin kind of like, <laughs> um, but at the same time, I wasn't exactly like Burgess Bear. So yeah, there you go. Okay. So, um, what tips would you give for aspiring voice actors? Read everything you can out loud because you're going to do a lot of what's called uh, cold reading, meaning. You'll be handed copy at an audition or sometimes even a job without ever having seen it before. So you've got to be able to look at some words, make sense of them, and make interesting choices immediately. So that's a really important thing. The other thing I would say is like, don't get too caught up in, in how many silly voices you could do. Because voice acting is really like classical acting in that you want to like prepare a full character and then the sound will follow. So, you know, it's, it's not just about being able to make a sound come out of your mouth. It's about knowing what shape the character, uh, what, you know, what other people say about the character. These all inform you uh, when you're, when you're picking, when you're setting up the role, how that character should sound. Okay. And a similar question to that would be, how does someone who wants to do voice acting start to begin with? That's a great question. 
it's tricky to break into because to get access to the larger jobs, you need to be able you need to be a, a union member and you need an agent. <laughs> And most people don't start there, right? So I would advise, if, if you live in a large enough city where there's already a voice market, I would try to build relationships with casting directors themselves. And then, then once you have those relationships, you can go to an agent and, and you're, you'll be valuable to that agent because you're, you've already got a pipeline of jobs. Uh, if you're not in that situation, there are some online resources like Voices123, Voices.com, that allow you to audition from home and submit your auditions and bid for work, and that's a good way to break And the final question for you is, where can people find you on your social media accounts? That's a great question. On Twitter, I am WL Salyers. I have a Facebook page at William Salyers VO. Uh, I think I have an Instagram account. I don't remember the last time I saw it. I'm the last person in the world that's going to take pictures of my food. Just not going to happen. So mainly you want to uh, hit me out through Facebook or Twitter. All right. Well, thank you. What about, um, why is he so awesome? <laughs> okay, so now they're breaking my chops because I read on Facebook the question, what would you like to ask Bill Salyers? And I answered it. Why am I so awesome? It's a trick question because I'm not really that awesome.